friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we are rebuilding Newcrest. It has a name now, this is Bloomcrest. And the way that we're doing it is every lot increases in price. So as we move on to the next lot, we have to increase our budget and it's getting pretty drastic. Last one we did was 100K. I'll link the playlist down below where you can see all of these builds so far. But today we are doing a 250,000 simoleon budget. Now, last time we were building, I ran into a little bit of an issue. I spent way too much money on the exterior and not enough on the interior. So today I'm gonna try and learn from my mistakes. Every time we go on, it's honestly gonna get harder. These budgets are gonna get pretty big. I did mention in the last video that I wanted the final house in this neighborhood to be a million simoleons. So we're working our way up. That lot down there is gonna be worth one mil. And then after that, we still have a whole other neighborhood to do. So those are gonna get insane. But today, my goal for today is I just wanna make sure that the inside of the house looks just as good as the outside. But we're gonna do the exterior first. One thing that I have been doing for a lot of these houses is playing around with platforms and terrain and different levels and stuff. So we're gonna continue on doing that today. What I'm currently doing, I've been trying to figure out new ways to use platforms on my exteriors. I mean, I've always used platforms in my builds, but only in very basic ways. Like I would do a sunken living room or something like that. I never really go crazy with them though. But what I wanna do here is carve out some patio areas. I wanna put my stairs around. Maybe I can put my stairs coming down here and we can do a double entry moment. So like stairs right there. And then in the middle here, I could do like a garden or a fountain. I haven't done a fountain in any of these builds yet. I think in one of them, we might've had a pond. I might be wrong. We've done so many of them now, but I am like notoriously known for having water features in my build. And we haven't had one yet, but let's add one right here, right at the front. We can extend our fence like this. I might move this back so our entry is a little bit more grand. And I was kind of playing around with like features for platforms earlier. And I kept running into this stupid, annoying issue where my stairs will like a glitch above and it keeps happening throughout the build. So if you see my stairs messed up at any point, which you likely will, I'll fix it. Don't you worry. But how cute would it be if we had a pond like right in here, if I can do it? Cute. And then we could have like the fountains. We'll add some water emitters. Like I could do three of like, I like the ones that just shoot up straight. I find them easiest to like build with. That's going to look really cute. And then we could bring the same idea. See, look, my stairs are already doing that thing. They're doing the thing. Stop it. We could do the thing that we did last time with these like covering up our platforms. This is gonna be so pretty. I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself yet. I'm gonna go on and add my journey to Batu flooring, which I've been using here. And that's gonna set the stage for our shell. So let's start there. Let's go ahead and build our house. I want it to be a little bit smaller on the outside than the one that I did over there. I wanna really focus on the interiors today. So I'm gonna try my best not to spend my entire budget on landscaping, which is kind of hard for me, you guys know, but maybe we've got a couple bump outs here. Maybe we've got like a bump out at the front here as well, like just coming out like that. I definitely want the main focus to be the door here. So I'm gonna put a door that I like just right there for now. We'll bring these bump outs to the back. I'm just gonna like match what I did to the front. And actually I'm just gonna trace the entire thing here all the way up to the second floor. I have a little bit of space over here to build some more. So I'm gonna just keep going up. Maybe I could build up like a, a cool chimney or something. I've been doing that a lot with my house walls. We could even go crazy with it and build something out like that. And I might take it one step further and build not a greenhouse, but a greenhouse looking thing. It's been a big theme here for greenhouses and gardening. The place is literally called Bloomcrest. So we're going to bring in a greenhouse aspect. I don't think it's going to be one, but it's going to have that style. So there we go. I've adjusted my shell slightly. This is what I think we're going to roll with. Now we can roof it. And I feel like the roofing on this is going to be pretty easy, a lot easier than the last one that we did. I had a lot of curves going on over there. This one, I want it to be a little bit of a different vibe. I'm gonna try a tall roofing here. I did see in the comments, you guys are having so much fun participating in this like new crest build series that we're doing. I've been taking a lot of the comments into consideration while building this. So I saw someone say they thought it would be cool to have like an older house maybe in one of these like builds on the neighborhood, which I am so down for. I thought it would be kind of fun because I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I did the greenhouse cafe build, there's like this greenhouse cafe, a community lot where we met our partner, Theo. I mentioned that he inherited the place. So I was thinking maybe it could be kind of cool if it was like maybe his parents old place or like something like that, just to bring in some more lore in this neighborhood. And also what we're gonna be doing today is introducing some children. Yes, this couple moved out of their starter home to 
together and now this is going to be a family home. So I'm gonna get my door back. I actually quite liked how this one looked with it. It's not the most expensive thing, but we'll go with it. Let's get windows. I think I'm gonna use Discover University today. I think it's gonna look quite nice with the style that we're going for. So I'm gonna keep them all white for now. I don't really know what color scheme I'm gonna go for yet. Sometimes if I don't know yet, I'll just use white as like a placeholder and then fill it in later on after we've started adding details and stuff. I think this could also look cute with like a semicircle window up there. I might even push this back a little bit and do a sort of balcony there. I think this house is gonna end up being the first like real fancy house that we've been building in this entire Bloomcrest. Pretty much in every single build that we've been doing for this whole build series has been on a smaller budget. This is the first like big one, 250K. That's a lot for a house in The Sims 4. I honestly feel like this is gonna be the last like comfortable house build that we do. Cause next we're gonna be doing 500. I think actually the next one might be a community lot. I'm not really sure. I kind of wanted to keep the middle lot here for like a community lot and then two more houses. So I don't know, but 500K for a house is gonna be a lot. <laughs> so I'm really gonna embrace this, you know, take it as the last non-chaotic build that we're gonna do. I wanna bring in a little bit more dark brown. I think I'm gonna put that in the middle there and maybe for my bump out on the side. Actually, I love how that contrast just came in. We'll do the same thing to the back. For my greenhouse windows, I'm just gonna use these eco lifestyle ones. I know I'm gonna have to come back and adjust too because I'm gonna have to raise up my platform in there. But for now, we'll just use these medium height ones. Maybe snowy escape on this side over here. And I think for the back, I'm gonna try and mimic the same windows that I had in the front. We're gonna make a pretty big deck back here. I want it to match the same height of the one that I did in the front with the platforms, but I think I might just bring it around this way and we can maybe just bring it back a little bit. We'll keep it pretty basic. I'm gonna raise it all the way up, but let's bring the double stair feature to the back too. It's gonna be a very symmetrical kind of build. We're gonna be repeating the patterns that we did in the front. I feel like that's the key to making a nice like back patio, get some wooden flooring. And you know what? I'm pretty content with this. I think this looks pretty good so far. This is going to be the first house that they have a pool. So let's build a pool in the back. I like having pools in expensive builds because worst case scenario, I can add in some like flooring in the bottom of the pool. We can add some marble. I'm definitely gonna trace around this with some vampires flooring. We can get some trees going back here. What I'm going to do though this time is instead of going right inside after I've done my landscaping, I'm gonna keep popping in and out. <laughs> I really wanna budget my interior, like I said. So we're going to be kind of like coming back out here depending on how much money we have. We'll do a little bit out here before we go in so that we get the idea, but that's my plan this time. I think it would look really nice actually if I brought in this fence here. I'm planning on building a patio out here. We could put like an umbrella. These freaking stairs, oh my God, they're gonna be so annoying through this whole thing. Just stay, just stay where you are, please. Also, I just noticed that I'm gonna have to bring this down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> and now my stairs again. You know what? They're just gonna stay like that for now. Like, I think it would be really cute if on one of these patios, we had these and we put some plants out here sticking with our theme and then on the other side we could have an actual like table with an umbrella let's do like what color maybe like a blue one out here would be nice and then I'm planning on doing the vines up the side I actually was thinking about naming this neighborhood like vine land or something because we have so many vines going up the side we've been using the cottage living ones all the way along it's actually a pretty good way to eat up cash too I like to use these going up the side too like just playing around with different kinds of vines. I'm gonna add a little bit of trim. I don't want it to go around the whole thing, I don't think, but I'll just put in some like details here and there. Like in the back, we could maybe just bring it in that middle part. I actually used to struggle with adding vines to my houses because I always wanted it to be too perfect. But I feel like the, the messier, the better sometimes. Like I'm literally just like slapping these on here, kind of just wherever at this point. These lights could look really cute at the front, kind of the vibe that I'm going for. And I'm gonna put another cottage living door up top. They're not the most expensive, but I do like how they look. So I've added a seating area over there, one over there, a bench. I'm kind of just laying out my like seating areas. That's kind of how I like keep things organized when I'm doing my exteriors. Once you have an idea of where everything is gonna be, then you can go in and start to clutter, add the detail. I find it to be a 
lot easier that way. So like back here, we can have a barbecue. The thing about this challenge is I never want to downgrade for the couple that we're building for. So like anything that they had in previous houses, I don't want to get rid of it for them, at least not intentionally. Like we had a juicing room in the last one. We had a bar. So all of those things I want to make sure we still have and we're just adding on. Also shout out to these stupid barrels. You guys were dying in the comments last video about the fact that I was trying to save money while putting these barrels down that cost a thousand simoleons. I had no idea. <laughs> when I was watching back, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so silly of me. Like, how did I not realize? But also, why are they so expensive? There are other barrels in the game that are not that expensive. There must be something in there. There must be like wine in there or something. And I'm just using them as end tables all the time. I just found it so funny, but you know what? Let me have it, okay? This is my favorite item, my only favorite item from this entire pack. So let me have this one. <laughs> because I'm trying to keep it pretty similar in the back, I'm gonna bring these vines up the side as well. I think what I'm gonna do is add most of my landscaping right now, do a lot of the details, but not all of them. And then we can finally go inside. Okay, so with not all of the landscaping done, but majority of it, this is what our house is looking like. And I think it looks so cute. I added some more details over in these areas here. We've got our planters. You can do some outdoor gardening, our bench, some candles, seating areas over here. In the back, I just added more details to our pool, a little bit more landscaping. And so far, I'm gonna leave it at this. So let's go in, let's figure out a floor plan. I kind of started playing around with it. I at least know where my stairs are gonna be. I think I'm gonna make a juice room over to this side. This back here is gonna be like a little laundry room, I think. We can do maybe seating area over here. This could be a bathroom. And then kitchen and dining could take up this whole left side. And then upstairs, my upstairs is a little bit weird because I don't intend on doing a full living room here. Kind of just more like a seating area, but then upstairs, I wanna do one over here here. So maybe we could do a bathroom in this corner, another seating area with like a TV, more of like a family room. But then I need two bedrooms. We're going to need one baby like nursery, which could maybe go to like here. We're going to have to maybe play with like a diagonal somewhere, maybe like this, but that looks very small for a kid's room. I might end up like adjusting this and moving it forward later on, but I think I'll focus more on that area later. And I'm not opposed to adding a basement, but again, I kind of want to see how we can make on without it. Let's start start with, I think I'm going to actually start with my laundry room in the back. We haven't done a laundry room yet, so I'm kind of excited to do this. I put this wallpaper in the kitchen last time and I loved it. So I'm going to bring that in here. We're going to get, I think like a pink washing machine. The styles we've been combining through the past couple episodes here have been like industrial meets a pastel -y, cottage core kind of like planty theme. So we're going to bring that in today as well, but I'm excited because we're going to have children and their aesthetics are going to start to come into the house too. Obviously we're only going to do like a toddler slash like newborn baby room today. But later in the future, they're gonna grow up. Let me know what styles and aesthetics you think the babies should have, like the children. I did see one comment already that said potentially like academia or like a dark academia. So I'm definitely down for that. Let's get our hampers in here. I want to put some storage in this room, maybe just some laundry there like that. And then on the other side, I might actually do a closet or just some place to like hang up some clothes, maybe some work clothes or something. I remember, especially when I used to work at a bar, I would like keep my, my bar clothes separate because they would get so gross. So let's do a dream home decorator hanging closet over here. We can add some cute clutter items. I might actually even go in with some shelving units down here. Maybe even actually like one like this on the bottom. This is actually pretty close to the front door. So I could add shoes like here before you go outside. Maybe a little mirror right there. I love how that looks actually. The shape of that is really cute. Get a nice little plant up there somewhere. And I want to bring in a little bit more of the pink, like the pastel pink we've been using. So let's maybe hang up like a robe. I also love to use the towels sometimes. Like I feel like they could pass as blankets. So let's add a small ottoman from Spa Day. And then on top of that, I think I'm going to add some more of our blankets and we'll just raise them up. I love adding these because I feel like they just, I mean, you got to have blankets in the house, you know, just adds that like lived in feel. We can pull this together maybe with a snowy escape rug and maybe some curtains as well. I think my windows might be a little bit annoying here because because I did have to play with them quite a bit with the platforms on this house. It's actually up on like seven tick high like platforms. So if we struggle at all with those, um, it, it will be very frustrating. That is actually adorable. I really like this laundry room. I love the clutter that we chose in here and the placement of it. I like where it is in the house. I think I'm gonna get these outer rooms out of the way first. Like I wanna do this one here. This is gonna be the juice room. In the last video, I introduced the fact that our partner Theo is a barista slash Jew 
juice maker. <laughs> Eco Lifestyle has a juice making machine and it's perfect with our storyline. You need fruit to make it and everything. So we're gonna use this object here, the fizzing station. And I actually think instead of adding curtains in here, I do want this room to be a little more on the industrial side. So I'm gonna use these here. These are dividers from City Living. They're under this like ceiling category. So they're kind of hard to find, but sometimes I like to use them as curtains. So I'm gonna use those. I like the chains on them. I like the look of them. So we're just gonna add those there. I don't wanna spend too much time showing you guys this one because you saw me build one in the last episode. Like I'll be adding in the bottles and raising them up and just kind of like adding them in. This actually turned out really cute. I stacked up my juice again. I love these, they're so colorful. My beloved barrel. It's gonna be called like barrel, barrel hood. <laughs> We've got some more cardboard boxes with some juice over there. And this is what it is looking like in our juice room slash laundry room so far. I think I'm gonna move on. I really wanna do the kitchen over here. So let's go over here. I think it's gonna be over in this corner. For all my wallpaper in the main room so far, I've been using this plastered style from Eco Lifestyle. I don't think I'm ready to fully commit to a silver normal looking fridge yet. So I'm not going to, but I am gonna bring in the industrial counters again. I like that backsplash there because I feel like it looks like a chalkboard kind of. I remember one of my friends when I was in my like early 20s had this like chalkboard wall in her kitchen. It was one of the coolest things and I, uh, feel like I want one in one of my houses one day. So we'll have our kitchen back there like that. I use these lights from Cottage Living in the juice room. I really like the lighting they give off. So I'm gonna put them symmetrically on one side and on the other there. I also want to add an island here too. So I'm gonna put that right there. My oven is gonna go here. And the island is perfect because I think I could probably put my sink on there. We got our smoke detector. So all our essentials are there. Now we can clutter. And I've actually been bringing back the Snowy Escape shelving units in one of the first first episodes, like one of the first builds we did in this series, I was using a lot of Snowy Escape and I kind of stopped after we did the greenhouse build, but I want to bring it back. I really like how the shelving units look. I love that aesthetic. I can put my chairs here. And then I was thinking the dining table could go right behind, like right here. I don't want it to be too close to the door. So I don't think it's going to be too big of a table. Maybe we can just use that one there from base game. So that looks pretty good. I think our spacing is pretty on point. Everything is looking pretty good in here. We're going to put our trash can over in the corner there. So it's kind of out of the way a little bit. I think right here, I'm going to add some shelving and put some more pantry stuff. I love these candy jars. These are from debug paranormal stuff. And I think there might be something going on with them because they say unassuming candy jar, but they're like $400 and great for spending money here. On that note, I still need a door for my bathroom and I want to add a bar cart. I think I'm going to put that over here. Anything with that like metal that I can bring in to like combine those two aesthetics that I'm doing. We've got our door there. I think I'm going to put up a painting right here. And I cannot forget about our child. I think we're gonna have a toddler slash like newborn that we're preparing to age up. So we have to put all those features in there, even though we might just have a baby at this point. So I could put like a high chair back here, maybe like one just kind of chilling in the corner over here. And after all the clutter has been added, this is what our kitchen is looking like. I am absolutely obsessed with how it looks. I love the pink and gray and the black in here. We've got our high chair to the side, our pantry looks so cute. I've been bringing in these vines as well. They've been such a feature in all of our builds. And I don't know, I just feel like the clutter and everything. This might be my favorite kitchen so far. I do still have room over here for a seating area. So I think I'm going to do that right here. This one's not going to have a TV. I think I just want some like comfy chairs. We'll do more of a formal one upstairs. And the further we get into this, the more I really do think we're probably going to have to do a basement. So I'm leaving this area right here clear so that if I have to add stairs, if we don't spend enough money, then that's where they'll go. But over here, I think I want to add a fireplace. We haven't really added anything like a fireplace feature yet. I don't think we could do maybe more of an expensive tree like this one. We'll get a cute picture on the wall, maybe a rug. And there is our seating area over here, bringing in those industrial tables again in a lighter swatch, our pastel chairs from Cottage Living with all our plants. And I think it's time to approach the upstairs. 172k left. Honestly, I'm not doing too good right now. I've changed my layout up here about 50 times. So you know what? I think I am going to extend this part a little bit just to like forward slightly. So we're going to spend more money on the walls. I can spend more money doing my vines. <laughs> and maybe before we do add the basement, we can hop back outside and add a little bit more there. But for now, I'm going to just add my railing. I think I'm going to change this layout for like the hundredth time. I was so concerned about my layout that I forgot my dear bathroom downstairs. Never done that before. <laughs> but this is my layout. This is what we're going to be doing upstairs. We're 
going to have a bedroom here, bedroom here, a seating area, like TV room over there and another bathroom. But before we do it, I got to do this bathroom down here. I think this one's going to be with a shower. We can do the other one with a bathtub. So let's maybe use fitness stuff there. I'm at this point using like the most expensive, normal looking toilets that I can find. We're not going to go too crazy yet with like the golden toilets or anything, but we are going to probably have to hit that at some point. The real problem I think that I can see coming up is keeping our aesthetics, but making them expensive. <laughs> when I did my multi-million dollar mansion before, I was using like the knights and the silver and gold like toilets and sinks and everything. <laughs> but honestly, that really does not fit our style that we're going for at all. So alternatively with our storyline, maybe the children are just going to have like a super rich taste. Cause like realistically, they are born into money at this point. So I could kind of see it happening. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. On this side, let's use a season sink on this side over here. And I think I'm gonna use the same curtain that I used on my juicing room. I'm gonna bring that into the bathroom too and just put that right there. So this is what our downstairs bathroom ended up looking like. We've got our pink accents in here, the black, the metal, and now we are ready to go upstairs. So I think what I'm most excited for is the nursery. I'm gonna start over here. What I'm gonna do is make it like they're prepared to have the baby become a toddler. So I am gonna put a toddler bed, but we're also gonna put the bassinet. So it's gonna be meant for like both. And for now, I don't really have an aesthetic for our child yet. So what we can do is decorate it in the way that Anna and Theo likely would have, which honestly is gonna be planty. I really wanna do a planty child room. I feel like that's exactly how they would do it if they were to decorate it. So we're gonna get the toy box. We're gonna lean into that like planty feel. We have our bedroom over there nice and close to the baby room too. So this is gonna be great for being functional. Dream Home Decorator has some really cute kid stuff actually. I love the little bookshelves. Where are those? These here, they have really cute designs on the side. So I'm gonna use that one. I think that one matches the best. So I'm gonna put that right there. Maybe we can put a shelf on top with like some more toys like this one right there. And then on the other side, this is where I'm gonna put a dresser. I do have a little bit of my plant coming in. That is not my fault. It's literally just like this in what happens with the cottage living plants. Another thing that, hi, Sims team, if you're watching this, please, please fix that. <laughs> I wanna use these here from Seasons. I think I can find some like cute flowers. So I'm gonna put that along this wall. Maybe we can shrink one and make it look a little bit different right there. Hanging plants, even though unrealistic in a real home, the baby is not gonna touch it in The Sims. So we've got that there. We can clutter up our dresser. We're gonna use these super sheer parenthood curtains, I think, and the bassinet. I think I'm gonna use the spellcaster one and I can put that right in front of the window, I think, or maybe like a little bit over like this. Oh, these here. I love putting these in my kids' rooms. Sometimes I'll put them along the ceiling or like under bunk beds or something like that. Add some kid friendly plants right here. So in here, I added some more toys. We've got our cat toy over there, some more clutter. I also added some teddy bears over there. We have the tablet, which is great for toddlers in The Sims 4. And honestly, I'm nervous about my budget. We are not even close to where I want to be. So I think I'm going to move over and do our living room. Here, we're going to start to splurge. I definitely need the like $10,000 TV from The Sims 4 Get Famous. We're going to start to use more pricey items. See, when budgets get this big, it gets hard to predict. It's hard to know like exactly where I'm going to be with my budget. After finishing certain rooms, I end up going back and replacing things. It can get really frustrating, so I'm hoping we don't have to go back and replace everything because I really like how this house is turning out. Let's add an industrial bookshelf. I'm gonna go on the higher end for a lot of things now. Let's add a table like this one, a jungle adventure over on the side. We'll get some curtains. I'm gonna double these ones up. Those are 115 simoleons each. We can do an industrial coffee table right there. I feel like this house and the last one we did should be flipped. Like I have just spent over 100,000 like just now and I feel like I could have easily furnished this whole thing in under that. It's so funny looking back, like the one next door easily could have been more expensive if I had to. And this one we're struggling now. I do still have a bathroom over here, which I think I'm gonna rely on that $12,000 tub. So I'm gonna buy that right away. And in this hallway here, I can add more things for kids. I kind of want to add like a crafting table or something. We'll get the most expensive one. And yeah, that basement is for sure happening. <laughs> this kind of part of the hallway is gonna be space filling. Now that I know that I have so much space space downstairs still. I'm kind of just trying with this to fill up the room. So I'm gonna make some cute little areas over here. Maybe we could get a record player. I think that could maybe look 
kind of nice over in this corner. Bring in a matching end table over here. We can add like a nice fitness stuff rug. Maybe some paranormal pictures. They're more on the expensive side. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is switch it up. We're gonna go and do the bathroom over here. Even though I already spent the most expensive thing right here. We're gonna get the pricey things out of the way. I wanna do the bedroom and I wanna know just how much we're gonna be spending on the basement. So we'll do that there. We can get a sink. I'm gonna use parenthood for this one. Ooh, I need a potty. We need a potty for the toddler, which I guess is gonna go here. We need some curtains. I'm gonna put some mirrors up. Maybe we can use this one here from parenthood. And this is what our bathroom is looking like. I raised up some toothbrushes and put them on that little ledge, which I thought was kind of cute. We've got some hanging plants in here, some towels. I also finished up our living room. So I've got all the clutter in here now. We've got some paintings over here, a little bit more clutter on our end tables. And this is what our hallway is looking like. We've got one more room until we go and make the basement, which is gonna be our main bedroom. So for my bed, I think I wanna use the Eco Lifestyle one. I was looking to see which ones were like higher end and I think I could get away with this one. I need some really small end tables here, like definitely these ones from Dream Home Decorator. We're also gonna need some curtains back there, which I think I'm gonna use these ones from my wedding stories. We'll do a tiny living rug. I'm actually gonna put a TV up here. We're gonna splurge again and use another TV. So 10,000 simoleons, I'm gonna shrink it there. We need a dresser in this side and a mirror. Parenthood is coming in hot in this build, which does make sense, I guess. But there we go. We're gonna use that dresser. Some pricier paintings in here. I think my goal is before we go to the basement to get this under 100K. So I'm adding my hamper in here. I've been going outside as well and adding like more plants around, more landscaping. I've been kind of holding off using these expensive paintings because I don't know if we're there yet, but thinking about it, the sim that we have living here is a painter. So it would make sense why we appreciate the fine art. This is what we've got for clutter in here on our coffee table, our TV, our lamps, our bed. And I think it's time to build our basement. So we're gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna copy these stairs and I think I want it to be here. Like my stairs will be right beside those ones. So let's go down and build out a room. I think it's gonna be pretty basic, like just something like this. I'm gonna add another bathroom down here. And I think it'd be fun to do like a wine cellar or like some storage like that because this is where I want the bar to be. So for our basement, this is what we've got. We're gonna do our pantry slash wine cellar back here. So we're gonna go straight to those My Wedding Stories barrels. This is the time to shine for our thousand dollar barrel that we found. So I'm gonna put a few of these in here. We have less than a hundred thousand simoleons to spend all on our basement and our exterior. That's a decent chunk of cash we just ate up right there. I know some of the bar stuff from base game can be pretty pricey too. Like some of the wall displays, like this right here is 1700 simoleons. So I think I'm gonna put that over here. Maybe we put a couple, like these are pretty pricey too, 780. I'm gonna put a couple of these wine things here. I think it's Dine Out that actually has the coolers for the wine. I love to use these in some of my more expensive builds. So I think I'm gonna do two. I think it would make sense also to put some of our juice down here. We were saying in the last episode that it would be cool if we use some of that in like bar mix and stuff. So I'm gonna get some of that debug juice that we have from Eco Lifestyle. Just some boxes down here, some extra storage. We can clutter that up a little bit more, I'm sure, but I'm gonna flip around. I wanna add my bar. We had a little bit of a smaller one in the last build. This one, I want it to be pretty big. I think I'm gonna actually use this one here, 1600 from base game. We'll put that right there. We'll get some expensive chairs. And this is like the entertainment place, I'm gonna say. Like if we had people over, we can maybe add TVs on the, on the wall here. I actually might put multiple. I love stacking these kind of like a sports bar idea where like we do a couple smaller ones they take up a lot of money, but I feel like that looks kind of cool. We could actually frame something down below. I can move this back and we could maybe put like a mini fridge. Also with some counters, I think I'm gonna add some snowy escape counters right there. Mini fridge right here. And then we can put like bar things like maybe the VIP bucket could go down here. Some salt and pepper, some lemons, just things you would find at like the bar. Let's add some games too. We could do a dartboard. This could be a cool place for like kids if they grew up, maybe like a teen hangout or a young adult hangout minus the bar. <laughs> oh, we could get one of the foosball tables down here. Maybe a Get Famous couch to match the bar stools that we used. I was also thinking I didn't put an easel upstairs. I kind of forgot about it. So let's put one down here. We could use the deluxe one at 2300. In my bathroom over here, I'm planning on using the 12,000 simoleon bathtub again. So we'll put that down here. I can get my toilet. Oh, we're coming down to it actually. That left us at 28. Yeah, this is a very expensive like basement bathroom that 
that we're kind of putting together here. Normally I just leave them because it's, you know, a basement bathroom. Like, what do you want? But this one, we are not holding back. <laughs> I think it's time for the expensive paintings. We gotta do it. I'm gonna take one of these and bring it upstairs. I feel like that one matches pretty good. We can put that one there. We can put some base game paintings downstairs. Almost under 20, come on. I'm gonna add some more of these over here. This is gonna bring us under 20. I went back outside and started replacing some of the things that I had. So I replaced some of the cheaper flowers that I had with these here shrunk down. I added a bunch more landscaping along the sides here. So all these pink plants I added. Same as around the side. So the outside of our house is looking very full and fully landscaped. It's all done. I have 11,000 simoleons left. I'm definitely gonna put a big painting in this bathroom downstairs. Like this one here, we're fully committing at 7,500. Looking for some more painting supplies. These canvases are 3,000 simoleons. So I'm gonna stack that back there. We're at 1,400. I added that there. I think the last of our money, what I'm gonna do is add into here. Let's do some of these. These are actually 520. Maybe we could do these like treasure boxes here. Those there were 300. So all I have left are 74 simoleons. I'm gonna use this here, this lance somewhere. I like this one. We can maybe put it like in front of the canvases like that. And just like that, we are down to four simoleons. That is going to conclude our 250K house. This build in The Sims 4 has been crazy. There's so much detail on this thing. I love it. I have been putting these on the gallery, by the way, under City Macaretta one at a time. I do plan on uploading the entire save file eventually. But for those of you who just want to download one or two lots, I've been putting them up there. So check that out. Also, if you like this series, make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing. It really helps me out. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.